I'm Martin Sharp, award-winning author, speaker, mentor and coach. And I'm here to talk to you about something that's really close to my heart. Because recently, we made it to 10 years old in my little consulting firm. Now, this isn't too much of a surprise. I've been helping so many other companies being able to get the growth and success and sustainability that they've been looking for over the last 25 years. That was just great to be able to celebrate it for myself in my own firm as well. So that was a recent event that we ran. We were asking the question, what does it actually take to get to be a 10 year old business? And here's the answer that some other veterans have come up with. First question, obviously 10 years is quite an amazing amount of time. And I know uh, all you guys have worked in businesses that have been more than 10 years old, or actually have businesses that are 10 years old. In fact, you've got businesses that are probably well beyond 10 years old. So my first question to you, if you were going to give somebody one piece of advice on making it to 10 years, what would it be? Um, I would say there's a, there's a phrase that I learned many years ago from a coach um, about operating either above or below the line. And above the line is, is accountability, responsibility, honesty, hard work, can-do attitude. And below the line is blame, denial, excuses. So my number one tip for being a success over the long term is always operate above the line. Always have the energy, passion, focus, um, and you know it's whatever happens in business, it's always your fault if something goes wrong. It's never anybody else's fault. So take that tip. Always be above the line. That's my number one tip. And is there anything that you can help to keep people above the line? What kind of things have you found help that helps you to keep? For me, um, as you, you said, I, I, I read a business book a month, um, at least. A lot of them are rubbish, but there's some real gems there. Um, and uh, I think that being self-aware keeps you um, above, above the line. Being very self-aware, looking down at yourself and thinking, how am I, you know, how is my behavior impacting other people? If you're self-aware, then you, you'll recognize the, the good and bad behaviour. Excellent. Well, thank you for that. And Simon, would you like to next? Okay, so, so I'm going to take a slightly different tack, tack on this. Um, I think it's about belief. It could be about stupidity, and you'll see why it could be one of these two. So I think that nobody else in your business is going to believe as hard as you believe, and I think that's essential. You know, I think you've got to be either have so much confidence and self-belief, or so little insight that you don't know when you're, you're doing something which is actually bonkers. Either way, it doesn't matter because you've got enough belief. That's what carries you forward. Nobody else is going to believe in you the way that you can believe in yourself. And I think that's what carries you, you know, through the hard times, makes you take that stupid bloody idea, the one that people said you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do it now because the economy is in tatters and you haven't got any people around you. And you go, stuff it, I'm going to do it anyway because it's a damn good thing that I'm going to do. That's what I think you should do. Absolutely. And when you're kind of in those moments where actually you, you, your belief is being tested, what kind of things do you do to kind of keep that, that, that momentum and that energy and that kind of that upbeatness that you always have? Well, sometimes you've got to lie to yourself. Okay. You know, sometimes you have. You know, you've got to, you know, you've got to you know, put aside the, you know, all the rubbish and uh, you know, tell yourself that actually that isn't the problem. And maybe it's a lie because ultimately, you know, like your lies become your future truth. So you know, there's a thing about you know, spinning it, spinning it around, um, but also about going back and looking at all the things that you've made happen that are right. You know, yes, we all have shitty days, and yes, we have some difficult challenges, uh, and if we work hard and you know, keep it above the line, yeah, we can get get across those. Um, but um, yeah, ultimately, you've got to you know, remind yourself that you're doing good stuff. You know, I mean, you better be doing some good stuff. You know, otherwise, you probably shouldn't be in business. But um, uh, but yeah, if you're doing good stuff, remind yourself about all the all the successes. Not dwell on the uh, the things that are hard or the things that you've tripped up over. Yeah, I kind of remind me of two kind of key quotes. One is from Richard Branson when he says, "Fake it till you make it." Okay. Basically. I think uh, that that kind of attitude of just keep pushing through, even though you might not necessarily always believe all the time, I think is a is a critical one. I've, I've seen it on so many occasions. And, and the other ones are around like success begets success. I think we get so used to, and so many people do, uh, get so used to the fact of seeing all the negative things that they do, all the things that do wrong, that they forget actually to celebrate sometimes even the small successes, those little wins that you have every day, those things that can really 
make you feel alive. And if you find one good thing every day, for me, it just makes you feel better. Rather than it's like waking up every morning and thinking, oh crap, it's not there, we'll work. And kind of this makes a big difference. Okay. Oh, myself, Cheryl. Oh, myself, Cheryl. I'm sitting here feeling slightly imposter syndrome because I haven't got, had a business for 10 years, although I have been my business for 10 years. Um, because it did start with Anne Summers, um, who's a very good friend of mine. And um, so, uh, so, so Cheryl Chapman's been in business, if that makes sense, but the fact job has not been in business for, for 10 years. But I think it's the same principle from when I first started doing that back in the day. It puts a smile on everyone's face anyway, doesn't it? Um, it's about the customers for me. You know, just remember who, who you're doing it for and why you're doing it for them. Um, and it's usually probably, I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but because you probably had some, you know, shit in the back past that, that was because of, you know, that's maybe why you do it or you experience that. Um, and it's not about looking at the, all the, the downside, it's just how you can help somebody else. Um, and I would say you also have to have to make some really tough decisions sometimes. That's true. Um, for, for, the, for, the, for the greater good, if you like. Because um, I think you have to, you, you're, you're, you're at the helm of the ship and, and you can keep going, I'm going to be really stubborn and I'm just going to keep going that way. But, for me, it really is about keep your customer in mind, remember why you started, what you did, um, and, and if you have to make some tough decisions along the way, I, I love the fact that you say, you know, it's your fault if, if you hit the iceberg. Yeah, that's done. And here on the channel, we're looking at how we can share a whole variety of tips, hints, sound bites, and extras of things that we have found we use on a weekly, daily, even hourly basis. So click the subscribe button now so you don't miss out.